Film of the Feast, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into my good sis voice. Halle Bailey speak out after breakup. Neek fans upset after King's video. Let's get it. Nicki Minaj concert. I don't think the Safari did nothing wrong. And did they put him out? So they really put him out. It's the cloud chasing for me. But anyway, let's get into this video. DDJ did confirm that him and Halle Bailey did indeed break up. So I've announced that me and Halle have split, right? It's life, it happens, right? She's still family, I love her to death, no matter what. Everything's still good, never know what the future holds. Anything else past that statement is nobody else's business. I see people keep yeah, creating, you got keep the vlog creating on his channel. Okay. Uh, stories, timelines, no one was wrong in the situation, nobody came out and said he did this, she did that, no. Me and Hallie are family, we good. We just taking a little break. Don't know what can happen in the future. That's none of y'all business past that statement. Me personally, I just think it's one of them little petty ass arguments. Emotions is running, points need to be proven. People are blocked right now. You can't really say what you want to say. I think she needs some time. Uh, she wants more time from him or something. Uh, I definitely don't think it's a prank. To the person, because you trying to prove a point type shit, you know how that shit go. And then it don't help that Holly got her own spot, he got his own spot, so they technically don't have to deal with each other. You know what I mean? Like, oh, okay, oh, that's how you feel? Oh, say less type shit, you know? As <laughs> soon as he go pick up the baby, Holly gonna have on one of them fire-ass outfits, and he gonna remember why he was with her in the first place and they gonna be right back together so it is what it is we gonna take ourselves out the business because this ain't that serious okay y'all leave y'all comments down below let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that ddg has taken the internet by storm because we're so just i don't know about you i wrote about this he it's so refreshing to see him so engaged as a father um I, I think it's so heartwarming uh, and I love seeing your son on TikTok. I wanted to know, like, is this how you envisioned DDG to be a father? Oh yeah, I mean, he's a great dad, but I always knew that he would be like this, you know? <laughs> we had talked about this before. Um, and yeah, that's just the type of person he is. So Halo is, is really, really lucky. So supporters are upset with King's recent video with Kaiser. Yo, opinion, who's more lit? Mom or dad, be honest. And it's, this is nothing to hurt nobody's feelings. It's who you feel in your heart. I more. don't know, that's... I should have just said both of uh... <laughs> King said they about to watch this video. Dad. You, you are you... Okay. Because you just said what you just said. But I need you to ask them for real. No, for real, for real. No, 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 no. Because you take me, you take me to places that I really love. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. And you give me everything for my birthday. I like the, I like the cake, but I'm, uh, I'm not trying to hurt mommy's feelings. No, we never yes. trying to hurt mommy's feelings. You love mommy. You always, you know. I'm just asking you because. You know, just asking what you feel. Someone said, asking a child that is insane seems like he's using his son for views. I'm sorry, why even ask him that dumb ass shit on camera? I hope. I, I don't I don't think it was that deep. First of all, I think that's something Neek would have said. Neek don't ever hold her tongue for nothing and nobody. I mean, every chance Neek gets, she says she's a single mom. So you don't think that'll cause a problem? So I just. If I was king, I'd say what I want to say and do what I want to do too. Neek say something. Like he couldn't take him out or do his favorite thing since he missed his birthday in his first day of school or something. Yep, if Neek had had asked Kaiser that, he would have had a heart attack. Now, if Neek say something, here come Lena making a whole video about it. Before I say- I what agree I with that. 
Now, Lena would have ran her fucking mouth. I have to say, I have no problem with King or Lena. But if you know certain things is going to hit different on the internet, why even bring it to the internet? I get that you're interviewing him, asking questions, but it's just certain questions people are just going to look at a little bit differently because of the history. You get what I'm saying? Like, use... <sighs> What's an interview without an interview? <laughs> y'all leave y'all comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that. Sorry, but I find it a bit weird that once King came from Thailand, the first thing he does is go to Kaiser and put a camera on his face and he's asking him, oh, who's the better parent? Who do you like more? Like, why are you asking this little boy these questions? Because if Nico- 11, 11 in the chat. Was to come and be like, oh, who's more present? Which parent is more present? Then what? Oh, okay. Like, I feel like everything King tries to do with Kaiser, it's always on the camera. And I feel like it's never genuine. Because honestly, it's so weird for him to be asking Kaiser, who does he like better as a parent? Like, why would you even ask your child that in the first place? Make him choose between his mom and father. Like, like you just came back from Thailand. Spend some time with your kid. Like, get the camera out of this boy's face. That's not what it's always about. Because I guarantee y'all, y'all about to go on another trip in two, three weeks. And guess where Kaiser's going to be? With Nick and Dwayne. And then he's, he's definitely not going to be with Dwayne. But um, see, right now, Dwayne is playing basketball overseas. And guess where he is? Away from his children. So all I'm saying is he, he, him doing what he did, his ninja move <coughs> uh, these past couple months was needed because what good am I to you if I ain't no good for myself? I just feel like that's number one. Number two, I also feel like Neek like her time and she takes full advantage of her time and a little bit of King's time. Uh, I could be wrong, but I'm just saying Neek been calling the shot since day one. So that's just my opinion. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Asking Kaiser, oh, how did you feel about me going to Thailand? Like this is a personal thing that you have with your son. Not for the whole internet to see how he felt about the situation. Now over the weekend, Carmen did go out and support her boo Big Boogie, but sis wasn't throwing anything back. Sis said, I am not going to be embarrassed and happy to fall on my face. She was still having a good time. She was still dancing, amping up the crowd and doing her part, but she was not throwing anything back this time. Okay. But she did speak about that in her recent video. Here's what she had to say. Y'all go a little bit too hard on your girl on TikTok now. Cause it's this one TikTok Carmen better than me. Cause if I was on stage, I would have went dumb. Just I hit it. Splits and out at What was she doing? Okay, yeah. First let me say it like this. I didn't know that was gonna happen. I was very much surprised just like y'all was. Yeah, I reacted to this full video. It's on my Patreon I'll link in the pinned comment. I didn't know like I was gonna be, I was gonna be, you know, coming on stage. How did I go from And me? he was gonna do that dance, and I was gonna be part of it. Like, hey, you know, like y'all was like, like I didn't know that was gonna happen. I didn't know like that whole little scene right there of the dancing and stuff. I didn't know that was gonna be a thing. Like I, I really did not know. And I even told him afterwards, I said, "You showing out, like, oh, you showed out, you know." So the first thing that I'm thinking is, them, it's like. Thousands of people. Girl, you better not fall on your head. Like, I'm really thinking, I'm like, girl, do not fall. Because if you fall, y'all, y'all can see how I am in the video. Did she have on heels or something? If I would have, that would have been like, head straight down. That would have been so embarrassing to the point where I would have got traumatized and I would have said to never, ever, ever in his life. Bring me out no more. Kaisenet did speak on the hate that Iron Mouse is receiving after surpassing Kaisenet most subscribed record on Twitch. Listen. I want to get something off my chest real quick. I know I see I seen the majority of people hating on Iron Mouse for breaking the record. I'm not gonna lie. You feel what I'm saying? When you first look at this shit, you probably are wondering to yourself, what the fuck? This is weird. How the fuck this shit even happen? But chat, if you guys know your Twitch history and stuff, Iron Mouse has always been top five all time. She's always been on the leaderboards all time. You feel me? She's not nothing new. She's somebody I had to pass during my first time. One, one, one she's always chat. been. She's always been on the leaderboard. She's been there if you know your real Twitch shit. You feel what I'm saying? She broke the record 100%. I congratulated her already, privately and publicly, but I'm going to do it again. Congrats to Iron Mouse. Amazing. And she did it for a good cause. So that was really fire. Oh, I wish everybody stopped making it weird. 
somebody was going to pass Kai. But anyway, let me know what y'all think. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.